Brain Freeze is a new rune for Frost Mages in Phase 2 of Season of Discovery. This rune is going to be really powerful, but it needs to be combined with one of the two other new runes for Frost Mages in this patch. It's either Spell Frost Bolt or Frost Fire Bolt. Once you have one of those two spells, you're able to use that along with Brain Freeze to do some massive damage. If you hit chill targets, you have a chance to make one of those two spells free and instant cast. If you don't have either of those spells, you can fall back on Fire Bolt, but it's just not as powerful. In order to get this rune, you're going to have to do the Highway Robbery questline that starts in Desolus. Just northeast of the Kodo Graveyard, you can find this abandoned camp up on a bluff. To start this quest off, you have to be level 30 or higher. Interacting with the campfire begins the Highway Robbery questline, which is going to give you a bunch of hints at who the next person you need to interact with is. First off, it says we need to find somebody in Desolus that might know more. We're going to be looking for Bibli Futzbuckle, who is in the middle-ish of the map, just above the ridge here at this set of huts. Run your way over there, you'll find him just outside the huts on the pens on the eastern side. He's going to say that Yo, marauders were likely out. responsible for this, and marauders tend to hang out at piratey areas. That gives us a hint that we're going to have to go to Stranglethorn Vale. So we're heading down to Booty Bay at the bottom of Stranglethorn Vale. Here, within the inn, we can see that we've got a quest giver. She can be found at the bottom level of the inn, right by the innkeeper. We're looking for Tokal. She'll ask you to bring her a Cherry Grog, so you have to buy her one of those from the bartender. Cherry Grog in hand, you can move on to the next part of the quest. She's now going to tell you about Ilari Duskfeather, who hangs out near Arathi Highlands. Guess we got to move all the way up to the top of the map. Hop on your flight point and fly your way up to the Arathi Highlands. When you get to the Arathi Highlands, you have to head south and get onto the bridge. Then jump your way off the bridge and into the waters below. Swimming to the east, we have to look for a rowboat. You can of course get there by going down this path, but it's more fun to jump in the water, right? Hopping in the rowboat is going to take you to the eastern side of the Arathi Highlands. Way over here that you normally can't get to. From here, there's a nice little farmstead, and we gotta look for our contact. On the docks of the eastern side of this little section here, you can find Ilari Duskfeather. She'll be standing at the edge of the docks, waiting for you to come up and talk to her. If she's not there, just wait for her to respawn, so we probably just killed her. You can question her if she's the one that attacked the camps in Desolus. There's two options here. If you're a night elf, you get this I sympathize with you one. Kalendor is ours. And she'll just give you the key if you're a night elf. If you're not a night elf, you gotta fight her. If you choose to fight her, she is a little bit of a rough encounter. She's a pretty high level mob and can be a little bit tough, especially at the level 30 that you can start this whole quest chain on. You might need a friend to help you take her down. When she gets to low HP, she'll shout out, No, it cannot end here, and then vanish leaving behind a satchel that you can loot to get the key for the chest. Wander over here and open up the cache. Using her key, you can get the jewel encrusted box. And within that is going to be your rune. I hope this guide helped you figure out how to get your rune. I'm Zesty Fresh Sasa Games, and I'll catch you guys next time.